And darling, are you right, darling? I say pal. You say mate. I say mate a lot. Mate. Mate, but that's And it's also, does it's not mate, it's mate. And, uh, and by oh. golly, the horse won. Our horse won, wasn't it terrific? Oh, oh, James, isn't that marvellous? You know, standard RP. <gasps> oh, so this one would be not picky, it would be picky. 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 Yes. Say so quickly. Quickly. Hardly. Barley. <laughs> okay. Cow. Cow. So there's a cow outside. Well, yes. Oh, oh, look, there's a cow. La. Oh my god. It's very open. <laughs> the, the partial you get, you don't move your mouth. And so either it's very open. Um, <laughs> I am going to get stabbed if I go up to someone and say, Ra, um, my G, how's it going? <laughs> Was that. No, what were the other ones? Oh my oh, god. Um, uh, Mandem. <laughs> my G, I was talking to the Mandem. Ra. Um, it was sit peng. <laughs> Done, no. <laughs> okay, this is my. This is the first time. I am doing a collab in my room, and when I'm in my room, usually it's like awkward free, isn't it? You just no one, no one's judging yeah, you. Yeah, totally. And now I've got someone judging me. Yeah. Hi, and my name's Sally. And um, <laughs> 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 so not only is, my, is she judging my awkwardness in general, she's judging my English today. I am judging your English. Yeah. I mean, what? She's not even just judging me in this video. I just judge you. She's full stop. I'm just a sort of super judgmental uh, right, person. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I invited you to my house, though. Who knows? It wasn't her parents mine. seem to love her, but anyway. Um, and I love your parents. <laughs> <laughs> so, we are filming this video because you noticed something in YouTube's face. Yeah, because to me, normally you sound like you've got quite a neutral slash posh accent. Mm -hmm. But then every now and again, you go all common London. And you're like, all right, you know, yeah. you're dropping your T's uh -huh. and uh, clipping off the end of words. And it's really interesting because I think... In a particular social setting, I will always stick to one accent. Now, because I'm in teaching mode right yeah. now, in front of my camera, I'm always in teaching mode. I always want you guys to understand what I'm saying. And I've always noticed that when I slip into London mode, um, more of you comment that you don't understand what I'm saying. So I yeah. think it's important to stick to RP. Uh, Received pronunciation, yes. aka my accent, the so, posh accent. Right, <laughs> but apparently I don't have an RP accent according to you. Occasionally. Occasionally. And you've just, you've just kind of picked up on the fact that I switch more. Yeah. Do you switch? I do a little bit. Um, so when I was an undergrad at university, I went to Oxford University. So that I'm surrounded by incredibly posh sounding people. My accent apparently, according to my uh, mum, became even more posh. I yeah. So, I've watched his videos like, this is how you sound like you're British. Or, well, it's how like you sound like you're, you've got a, <laughs> an RP <laughs> slash London slash accent. London accent. Exactly. Or, you know, Bristol or Manchester, all of these mm -hmm. places have really strong accents to the point where even I struggle to mm. understand them. When Americans do English accents, mm. it's always, All right, there, yeah, governor, up the apples and pears. And, and it's like, like, no one sounds no, like that. No one anymore. sounds like that in, in the UK. <laughs> Maybe some people do. I'm sure, yeah, yeah, I'm sure there are some people still in the Cockney area mm -hmm. that sound like that, but it would be, what, 0.001% of the population. And even with time, we've noticed changes. So for example, M-L-E, yes. which is Multicultural London English. Not the name Emily. Emily. I... <laughs> why, why do you keep going about Emily? Who is she to you? M-L-E <laughs> is a dialect, a socialect actually, and this was developed in the 1980s and 90s as there was an influx of immigrants in, into London. It just, just sort of emerged. Of emerged. Um, it kind of uh, kind of infiltrated its way into London and society and has become a almost a mainstream accent. So you find uh, big celebrities such as Stormzy, um, Adele, all using different variations of Emily. Now, what I call your kind of your common London accent. Common London accent, yeah, yeah. yeah. And even now I'm kind of slipping into it. Yeah. Like when I'm saying slipping. I'm slipping. I'm slipping into it. I'm slipping into it. I am um, gradually speaking before I don't know you're you're judge I can't talk around someone who's judging me <laughs> but when I do like when I'm doing a YouTube video presenting or anything like that like even now I can hear that I'm enunciating my consonants really nicely mm. because I know that that means it's easier for you to understand me whereas when we're just chatting I do occasionally miss uh -huh. some of my consonants not that many but 
A few. So, before we get straight into discussing the differences, mm -hmm. Sally is a biologist. I am. And so I'm she Dr. Video. Sally Le Page. Mm. Oh. Very uh, exciting. Know, uh, you've right? just finished your PhD. PhD work. at Oxford in evolutionary biology. Mm. So, yeah. so if you're interested in that or you just want to hear a beautiful accent. Yeah, maybe you're fed Someone's up with it. learning how to sound like Ambu. Uh. Maybe you want to sound like me. <laughs> the judgment is real. <laughs> the judgment is real. Or oh, you're just and female I'm... and you don't want to sound like a dude. And I'm just, yeah, you know what? I, I should have expected this when I, you know, uh, when we started to do this collab. I was like, I'm being roasted in my own house and in, in, on my own channel. But you know what? It's kind of fun. It's great. Yeah. I should point out we are good friends. <laughs> right, right, right. We yeah. don't actually hate each other. <laughs> we had a good lunch. Um, yeah, we did. Yeah, Your we mum got, got to it was great. Yeah. But um, she's just kind of mean to me sometimes. It's my way of showing her. <laughs> it's a very British thing to do, is to just insult your friends. And if you are insulting them, they know that you're comfortable with oh, insulting no, exactly. them. Oh, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it's a sign that our friendship is strong, that I am happy mm. to insult him. Mm. So I think that's a very British thing. Is it a British thing? I, I think so. Americans don't do it. Ah, I've spent some time in America and they're just so genuine and nice to each other. So would you classify um, passive aggressiveness as one way of kind of being... Well, we're not direct. Mm. We're not like Germans. The Germans are a super direct culture. So if something's wrong, they'll just say it straight out. Whereas oh, being okay. passive aggressive is skirting around the No, way. absolutely. So yeah. we're nice when we want to be aggressive, but we're confrontational <laughs> when we want to be nice. Good luck learning that. <laughs> the trick of this video was to make things easier to I learn, know, right? Not to Good not to editing. confuse yeah, not to confuse the hell out of these guys. But um it's kind of true. It's kind of true. And I think it's also situation dependent. Mm. Um so this is the thing, I think. There's only so much that you can learn from other people's experiences, learn from video. But mm. I think having travelled here and, and experiencing day-to-day -day life in London or, or in, in Britain, um, you just kind of pick up on these little nuances. But and... it is, it's one of those things that contributes to culture shock, mm. is if you go somewhere and everyone's just being really sarcastic and really mean to you, you don't know if that's because they don't like you or just that's their culture. Whereas mm. the flip side Someone might be getting really angry with you, but if they're a Brit, they won't say it directly. Not gonna lie, your when when your your kind of like teasing mentality. It took me a while to get used to. It. I was yeah. like, I'm not used to this. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And and, and I was at like, first the... you're like, what's wrong with me? Why does she hate what? me? I'm like, what's what going have I on? done to her? <laughs> what, what is going on? And yeah. then I realised actually, it's just different ways of socialising, different banter. ways of mm, banter. And this is the thing. Not only is it um, on the other person, it's also a test of your character to, to see whether you can take Can that you laugh answer, at yourself? Yeah. Right? And I think that's also a good test of character. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of rolls here in Britain. Yeah. Um, so let's discuss certain words that we actually pronounce differently, like yes. really differently. Yeah. Um, we, I've noticed I kind of slip on my T's. I, I either use the glottal stop or I substitute a T with a V sound. So I'd be better. like mother. Mother. Mother, better. It's proper better, you know, like... It's proper better, you it's know. <laughs> my mother, his mother, cooked a delicious meal the other day. Oh. Uh, actually, just today. Oh, my, my mother, yeah, cooked a banging meal. His mother cooked a banging meal. His mother cooked a delicious lunch for us just now. Was it, was it quite exquisite? It was rather good, you know, rather good. <laughs> it's so funny <laughs> because I do sound like her when I'm speaking to certain members of the older generation. Or like if you're doing a job interview or something where you want to sound a no, bit more No, you know what? In certain job interviews, I actually have a slight mix between you and like the the, the London side of me. Yeah. Um, I do drop my teeth uh, to make it sound more natural, but I don't use banging. I don't use slang. Well, that's, that's, that, that, that's, that's something I forbid in professional situations. Oh, okay. I would never go up to a boss and be like, that's banging. But I would, I would be like, yeah. So in, in order to make that better, I think um, you do need to, so actually, no, actually, you know what? I don't drop my T's either. Having think, thought about it now, I don't drop my T's or I don't use slang. But at the same time, I don't think I sound quite as posh as you do yeah. when it comes to using words such as exquisite and these kind of things. Do they know what posh means? Feel free. Because so Britain has a very strong relationship with class. Um, yeah. And it's something that's not found in a lot of other countries. We really care about class, whether you're upper class, middle class, mm. working class. 
there's a lot of stigma associated with it and you will judge someone's house, their accent, their job, um, the clothes they wear based on how that reflects on their class. Mm. And so, because that's like when I'm saying that I have a posh accent, it makes me sound like I'm from a higher class. And when I slip into my Londoner accent, unfortunately, it you, you kind of it's st- it's stuck to stigmas associated with the working class yeah. and not having essentially money um, and status. Yeah, essentially. And so when people say I've got a nice accent, it doesn't just mean that I'm easy to understand. It means mm. that I'm kind of an aspirational accent in a way. Mm. And this is one thing I also discussed with uh, other members uh, that I've invited onto my channel. For example, Tom, who uh, is the YouTuber from Eatly Dream English, we spoke about, you know, how should we be changing our accents? Yeah. And In the olden days, people on the BBC had to change their accents. They didn't allow regional accents. And that's where you get the BBC English. So BBC English is an even more received uh, version of received pronunciation. And they thought that only people could un- people could only understand this accent on the radio. And so they they all would learn how to speak with this accent. And a lot of the old actors... Uh, so, oh, what's his face? The one that was, um, Spock, Star Trek guy, mm. bald, what's his name? Don't know. Him, he's from Yorkshire. Mm. He has a really, com- like, a proper strong Yorkshire accent, but he sounds like a thespian because as an actor, he had to learn how to do your Shakespeare accent as if you're at the RSC. But what's really interesting is that might have been relevant for the 1960s, but now, however, now, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Um, I was actually shocked to hear Adele in an interview. I've only ever heard her yeah. um, singing yeah. and in performances. Uh, but when she's just, you know, her natural self, you realise actually RP isn't the only accepted accent anymore. Yes. Yeah. And I think it's important to embrace various accents these days. Mm-hmm. And but, I but, love some of the regional accents. They sound so nice. But un- unfortunately... We can't shy away from the reality of things yeah. where in job interviews, unfortunately, certain accents are received better than others. So you've noticed how I've said better. And like not that. better. And like not better. So let's discuss a few other differences. Yeah. So how would you describe um, your day at work? What, how, would you, how, would you, how would you say that to your mother? So you'd go mother, home and you'd be I like, how was your day, darling? Uh, oh, uh, I do call my friends darling. <laughs> That's and one difference. I love the term darling. You're right, darling. I say pal. You say mate. I say mate a lot. Mate. Mate. But that's and I'm... it's also, doesn't. it's not mate, it's mate. But I say that when I'm like emotional about something, so like, I'm just like, oh mate, what's it we do? I love it as well because it's gender neutral. Like guys, I don't see as gender neutral, whereas mm. mate is. So I, do, I am starting to adopt And pal mate. is gender neutral it too. Is, yeah. They're not, I never hear anyone saying pal. I love saying pal. Do you say buddy? No, I hate buddy. That's the American I word. say buddy. I do, but I don't like it. Buddy. Hi mum. Yeah, work was alright actually. I uh, I managed to get quite a lot done. I went to the YouTube space and I had some great meetings with my friends. Really? I think so. That yeah. sounded pretty neutral. I think that sounds quite neutral. I don't tend to sound super posh with my mum. Oh, okay. So, my mum doesn't have as posh an accent as me. Right, this is how I would say that to my dad when I come yeah. home. So, actually no, because I speak to my parents in Tamil, that doesn't quite work. But my, my brother, so he like, yeah, um... Oh, mate, like, YouTube space was so sick today. Um, it was proper productive and, like, yeah, like, I, I got there at, like, 8 in the morning and worked solidly till 5 and then I went for drinks with my mates afterwards and, yeah, I had a proper, like, sick time, actually, yeah. Proper good. Well good. Well good. And it's is, is that A sound. It's, it's in mate and late and... Uh, late. And, like, you got up at 8. I got up at 8. Eight. eight. Eight, eight o'clock. Eight is like eight. eight rather than uh-huh. eight, mm-hmm. which I find is a much higher sound. Mm. Well, even say... in things that aren't just mate. What about um? You you were explaining how in the upper class the they upper, have the a... upper class. Oh yeah, because in one of your videos I was watching it and you said that um, the Americans will say their a's as a ah. like la. It's the car- court of la. Ka-la. Ka-la. La. Um, whereas Brits will say or, law, court of law, law, which is how I would say it. But as you get even higher class, like your proper Downton Abbey, and very few people still speak like this, it becomes so clipped. It, when I was working in the court of law, uh, no, how would it go? Oh, uh, 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 yes, right then. So, 
so when you're talking, it all goes very clipped. And and we went to the Escort races, not Ascot, Escort. And uh, and by oh. golly, the horse won. Our horse won, and wasn't it terrific? Oh, oh, James, isn't that marvelous? James, yeah. Yes. Oh my god, that's like the proper Queen's English. Yeah, it? it's like super, super wow. posh. Very few people still speak like mm. that. Is there like complete phrases that maybe Londoners won't use, but you would? Um, I think it's just the more old-fashioned stuff. Um, oh, jolly good. Would you ever yeah. say that? Yeah. Oh, jolly good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's Top Bananas. That's one of my friends. Oh, has. really? Oh, it's smashing. So Top Bananas I've never used. Um... I mean, I don't go as well, far as to say, say spiffing. I, no, I would never say that. I would never go up to someone and say, that's a jolly good job you've done You that. end your videos with cheerio. Nobody says cheerio. I think that's why I do it, though. Yeah. Because... <laughs> Stereotypical. All right, there, cheerio. cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why I end it. It's like mm -hmm. a, just to kind of, you know... Ooh, uh, oh, yeah. jam and clotted cream on. Oh, my gosh. I say scone. I say scone. Wow! I know. So even though we both got RP, <laughs> right. like there's the odd word where it's just like no, yeah. you're saying wrong. <laughs> there's a re there was the kilometer, re kilometer. It's it's kilometer. So I say kilometer. And evolution. Do you say evolution or evolution? Evolution. Uh, a lot of the people in, the, of, in Britain yeah. say evolution. Um. Okay. So, bath. Bath. Grass. Grass. Dance. Dance. Can't. Can't. Father. Father. Palm. Palm. Cat. Cat. Bat. Bat. Sat. Sat. It's because we're both from the south of England. Okay. But Whereas... then I would say far, father. Father. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Father. But if we were from the north... Father. Uh, father. But if we were from the north, it would be bath, grass, mm. cat, grass. Uh, oh, hello. This is uh, the, the very posh. Mm, look. So there's... Man. Men. Men. Hint. Crib. Thinks. Angry. That's what I was talking about. Angry. As the, uh, the A will sound clipped, like, mm. almost like the American, so man, hair, cramp, mm. things, angry. I can't Thanks. do accent, accents that well. Thanks. Um, angry. Thank that mad man. Th so it's thank that mad man. Right. Be thanks that mad man. Both are received pronunciation. But thanks that mad man is upper. That's a posh, wow. posh, posh. Thanks that mad man is like my, you know, standard RP. <gasps> oh, so this one would be not picky, it would be picky. 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 Yes. So quickly. Quickly. Heartly, barley. Picky. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm really, I'm really very sorry. Um, okay, I, you need to teach it because I've never even practiced in my yeah. life. So you, this is the teaching yeah. part coming. So quick, how do, you, how do you say it? Say quickly. Quickly. Partly. 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 Barley. Barley. Picky. Picky. So, so I'm, I'm really very sorry. I'm really very sorry. Yeah. Whereas so very my art oh my God, that so would be quickly, mm. partly, barley, picky. I'm really very sorry. I'm really very sorry. Yeah, I just can't even say sorry. And you would say sorry. What, sorry. What, the, the, there's a London sorry. Oh, I'm oh, sorry, mate. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, oh, I'm proper sorry. Like. I'm, very, no, I'm well sorry. Well sorry. I'm well sorry. Oh, allow that. I'm, just allow me in it. Like, I'm well sorry. Um, couch. Couch house allow now voucher would be couch house allow now voucher. It's hell no brown cow. House. Oh my god. House. House. So. Cow. Hell no brown cow. 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 So there's a cow outside. Well, yes. Oh, <laughs> oh look, there's a cow. Oh, the cows. Oh, look, there's a cow. How now brown cow. Wow. That's how I would say it. Uh, how would they say it? Oh, I don't know how they would say it. Wow. Uh, wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wah. 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 Yeah. Wah. Tired. My fire liar. So like. Plow, admire. Plow, power. Shower. Oh, so admire. So I've heard um admire like here. So so I would say here, but apparently it's supposed to be here. Yeah, that's a London thing. If you're sticking in Y's everywhere. Oh yeah. Here. Here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Or power. Pa no, oh, no, here, 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 um, here. See a dear. Dear, yeah. Oh, yeah, that, the price is a really dear. Do a dear. Yeah, the price is a really dear. Or deer. There, there was a dear who, who, which came in front yeah. of the road. Red deer. Red deer. Deer. It's deer. Oh, what? Well, not deer. 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 Oh, this one is the upper RP is even like deer. 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 So, wow. <laughs> I love how we both <laughs> raise our children. Oh, deer. Fuck. Fair. 
La. Oh my god. It's very open. <laughs> In the partial you get, you don't move your mouth, and so either it's very open and <laughs> oh, why tired my pile like wow. that, how posh, how, or it's very, very small. It will tell me if I look at flower tower, power shower. It's they just don't move their lips. They're too posh so to move their lips. Oh my god! So like, I just have never heard the other pronunciation of liar. So I would say liar, like liar. liar. You're, you're a liar. 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 Whereas I would say liar, liar, all one, and when you get really posh, it's liar. So no, wait. Far, la, liar, 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 darling. Interjections. You would never use the interjections that I use, like ra, ra, ra. You just go ra. No, as in ra is an actual London Emily. I've never heard that. Right, so ra. I should point out, I've, I've only moved to London in the last six months, ah. so I'm still picking up mm -hmm. what London Have you not heard ra? So basically, no one says uh, yes, everyone says, all my friends say ra. So if imagine something crazy happened, um, for example, you were late to your job interview, you'd be like, ra, you were late. Dude. Yeah, it's, except it's the same as dude, like ra. Mandem? That's a word. <laughs> Yeah. I thought that was just random noises in a Jesse J song. No, mandem basically means people. Like, oh, my mandem. Like, it can mean friends, it can mean people over there. Oh, there's mandem over there. <laughs> um, then you've got these four, No one five... says, oh, my days. Surely. Have you not heard that? No. Not <laughs> like the 20s. What? Oh, my days. No, you don't pronounce it with that accent. You're like, oh, my days. Oh my days. So instead of saying oh my gosh or Oh my days, I can't <laughs> believe this is actually said. It's when a, you say it with that Because accent. it's 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 well when blaspheming was still an issue. So you wouldn't say oh my god, you'd say oh my golly, oh my gosh, oh my days. Oh we just say days. Oh my days. Ra. Ra <laughs> No, not raw. Ra <laughs> Ra <laughs> I'm you're not so going raw. Okay, you're, raw. Actually, you're actually so cringy right now. If any of my London friends are watching this, or if it's anyone from, from London, I you... fully embrace <laughs> my posh middle class whiteness. I am very comfortable with that. <laughs> I am all right not knowing what these mean. Okay. Raw. <laughs> you sound so dead. All right, mate. Raw, how's it going? You're that, is so that it? When you want to like sneak up behind someone and you want to get their attention instead of saying hi, someone, hiya, someone you call go, her mum. Someone call her mum. Get her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> so it turned. So this video turned from you teaching me posh accent, yeah, into me teaching you Emily down with the London kids. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Raw. <laughs> someone, someone, kick her off my channel, please. <laughs> That was actually a really fun video. I, really I actually, that. you know, I, it was interesting because I've never known about the Y sound and the A sound in yeah. upper. It's because you very rarely hear super posh people. Fun. That was fun. Learned a lot. Did you learn? I here? learned a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I learned a lot of things. You're going to be learning a lot living here. I am going to get stabbed if I go up <laughs> to someone and say, "Ra, um, my G, how's it going?" <laughs> was that? No, what were the other ones? Oh my oh, god. Um uh, Mandem. <laughs> my G, I was talking to the Mandem. Ra. Um, it was sick peng. <laughs> Done no. Oh. Uh, I think I'm finished. Yeah, you're Just done. Do, do my outro for me. Okay, uh, so thanks everyone for watching. <laughs> Remember that we have language lessons Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday's my favourite. That's Love My Identity. Yes, uh, she knows. So, so subscribe for more of that. And as always, cheerio. You missed out my I forgot hashtag. the bit before it. What's okay, so... And remember, guys, we wanted to leave you with one last message, and that's to love... Oh, that's it. Yeah. Love your... your Identity. Why is this identity? Identity is like a fist. It's like you're being proud of who you are. It's yeah. like this. Yes. Okay. So love your identity and cheerio. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs>